Hi everyone, it's Centrea and Mathura, her mom. <laughs> so today we are cooking coconut crepes. Mmm. So yum. Yum yum. And we are pulling it out of our 30 day detox magazine. So are you ready? Because we are. We've yep. been waiting all day to get this video out to you because I think this is going to be one of the best videos ever, right? Yeah. Right. Yep. So come cook with us. Come cook with us. All right. So we are going to be making coconut crepes this evening. Um, we haven't eaten dinner, so this is going to be part of our dinner tonight. Anyway, so these are the ingredients that you will need. So for the jam part of the crepe, you're gonna need a bag, a 12 ounce bag of frozen raspberries thawed. You're gonna need white wine vinegar, a pinch of black salt, chai seeds, and that's all for your, for your jam. Pretty simple. The, the crepe and the cream will consist of four eggs at room temperature, a half a cup of unsweetened almond milk, but we're using banana milk because there's lower sugar in that. Um, we're using coconut flour, arrow starch, coconut oil. Okay, so you also need a eight teaspoon of black salt. We're using that. One vanilla bean or vanilla extract and one cup of heavy coconut cream. So, are you ready to get started? Yeah. Let's head over to the stove because that's where it's got to start today. Okay, so we are back. We are going to work on the jam for the crepe. So, in a medium saucepan, ding, 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 <laughs> you are going to turn your heat on medium low. We're going to add the raspberries. So, Centrea's got her raspberries over here. Gonna pour in 12 ounce bag of frozen raspberries that are thawed. If you're a person that has issues with seeds, um, I know that my mom, uh, she's not really supposed to eat seeds. She has something going on with her stomach where the seeds get um, trapped in the lining of the stomach and so it causes her a lot of pain. But even though she still eats them, huh? She eats strawberries. Yeah. And she eats seeds anyway, so, but I don't know, maybe she's kind of gotten over the pain factor and she just likes her seeds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this has a lot of seeds. It has chai seeds in it. Your raspberries have seeds in it. So just keep in mind, if you're someone who struggles with that, you may want to avoid this recipe. But it is a very low sodium recipe very low sugar. I'm real excited about this recipe. It only has 10 carbs in it per serving, so it's a, I think it's going to be good. All right, so we have had these berries on the heat, medium to low heat, for about three minutes, or no, two minutes now. We still mm -hmm. have about three minutes left, so we'll come right back as soon as we are done. All right, we are back. It is now time to add in the chia seeds. So we have one and a half tablespoons of chia seed and we're going to go ahead and stir that up. We're going to reduce the heat to low. Did you do that Sintra? Yeah, I just did. Okay. And then we are going to cook it for one minute. So timer, one minute, one minute start. All right. We are on 57 seconds and counting. <laughs> All right, once we get it stirred in real good um, and we cook it for a minute, we're gonna transfer it to, it says transfer it to a bowl, let it cool, and then cover it and, and put it in the refrigerator until it's ready to serve. Um, this jam makes a, or make the jam and refrigerate it um, ahead of time and then warm it up if it's too cold, you can warm it up before you use it. Um, so, we have 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's our sign. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and transfer. We're actually going to put this in a mid. Okay, now Sandra is going to transfer the um, jam over into her measuring cup. Right? Yep. So after she does that, we're going to cover it with some Reynolds wrap. This has been around for a long time. Oh, yeah. Even when I was a kid, my mom used it. Hmm. Do you ever remember me using it? Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is prepare the crepes. Um, what we need to do is get your little KitchenAid blender, whatever kind of blender you have. Make sure you get it out. Plug it in. Right, Centria? Mm -hmm. We already have plugged in. Okay, so in your blender, you're going to mix up four eggs. So, oh, you turn it on before you put the eggs in? Well, you're mixing it, so. Oh, mixing. Okay, well, so you're gonna put your eggs in, you're gonna put your milk in, your half a cup of milk. We use banana milk, again, lower sugar. How exciting, because that means our recipe is going to be even less sugar. Um, the next thing you're going to need is your flour. Do we just coconut use regular, we use coconut flour? Oh yeah, because it does say coconut flour. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, the next thing you need is your arrowroot starch. Your oil, what kind of oil did we use? Coconut. Coconut oil, because why? That's what the recipe says. It's coconut crepes. Oh, well, yeah, that's All it. things coconut. All right, so you're going to go ahead and mix that in there. Okay, and your little salt. Did you get your little salt in there? Salt, too. Yeah, your black salt. It says that we blend until it's smooth. Let's stand five to ten minutes to thicken slightly. All right, so we blend for as long as it takes to get it smooth. I'm gonna scrape down the side. Down the side. I think one day I'm gonna be super thin too, and I'm gonna work out. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? I'm gonna be super thin, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna work out. No, you should work out, and then you'll be thin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I crack myself. Up. <laughs> that was so funny. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Start with something. Okay, so you got this stuff off the side side of the bowl. After we get this little concoction smooth, we are going to transfer it into Oh no, we're not. We're not going to transfer it. Just kidding. Just leave it in there. So we're just going to leave it in there and then let stand for 5 to 10 minutes. Why do you think that? Why? why? So it can get thick. Oh yeah, because it has to it says thicken slightly. So it can slightly thicken. Yeah. Slightly thicken. Okay. Okay. I think it's ready. So I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes. How about okay. that? All right, we're back and we are ready to start making these crepes. <laughs> All right, so in a small nonstick skillet on medium low, you're going to brush oil, coconut oil, over the surface. So that's what Centre is using. We literally are using a paintbrush. Why, do you say? <laughs> because that's what my husband uses and he said it's okay. Now, I really believe they probably have real cooking they do. Like I brushes. Centre says she has one at her house, so um, yeah. Alright, so the next thing we're going to, but if you don't have one, all you have to do is use paintbrush. an actual paintbrush. It really works. Alright, so we are going to pour about three tablespoons of batter into the pan and then quickly swirl to spread the batter around. One, two, three. And then quickly swirl. Quickly swirl. Quickly swirl. That's what we do. All about you. I just feel like that's not right. It's a little 
bumping it, huh? Well, pull a beer in it. Well, maybe, maybe I just don't know. Okay, so cook for one to two minutes until it's firm. So timer, one, one, bump. Even though it's probably been already smashed a little bit. Meat. Okay, one to two minutes until firm on the bottom and just turning light golden. Carefully flip and cook for one minute longer. It's flip time, it's flip time, it's flip time. All right, one more minute on the clock. So after we cook this, we're gonna transfer it to a plate and then cover with a towel, and then we're gonna repeat with the remaining batter, making about 10 crepes total. Okay, we are going to repeat this 10 more times, or nine more times, that was one. Yep. And we will be right back with you once we are finished. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do, which we've already done, was chill the bowl, the medium sized bowl, but we're gonna use a mixer bowl, so we're gonna see how that works. Um, you chill it in the microwave. Chill in the fridge. In the oh, in the, <laughs> in the fridge. In the fridge. Whoops, not the microwave. You can't chill in the microwave. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to chill um, the bowl. We're going to scrape the seeds from the vanilla bean into the bowl. And discard the pod. Because we decided to use fresh vanilla bean instead of the extract. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to add in your coconut cream. Yummy. Do you need your little teal yeah. spoon thing? Here you go. Thanks. Sure. Mothra. No problem, doctor. Oh. I said I was trying to say doctora, but mm -hmm. doctora. Sounds like I have a lisp. So yeah. if I said Dothra instead of Doth, doesn't doth. sound right. Yeah, so I just call you Centria. Yeah. Because that's what I named you. Mm -hmm. So we'll add coconut cream and then we're going to turn on, oh, pardon me. I'm still flipping crepes in the background. <laughs> so. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix on medium high, medium high, yeah, with, this says use a handheld mixer, but Centrea thinks that we can use this, because why? She said she did it in her class, right? So we have it plated now, and we're getting ready to have my husband try it and see what he says about this dish. All right, we are really excited to see what he has to say. Yum. Come follow us over there. Okay, everybody, so now Woody is going to do his taste test for us, his review on our crepes that we made. Let's see what he thinks. So you have a raspberry coconut coconut raspberry cream crepe. Crepe is really good. Is it supposed to be? Mm -hmm. It's nothing. Our crepe is rubbery. And it's supposed uh, to be fluffy. Well what makes it Did rubbery? we overcook it? Well no, what makes it really like you get too much water in it. Oh. Hmm. Well, I cooked it for two two minutes on one side and one minute on the other side. That's what it said. You're moving on to the eggs, so I assume you're done with the crepe. You don't like it? I'm not a fan. So, so out of ten, what does what's rate it? <laughs> I'll give it a five. Five? five. Boo, that's a thumbs down for us. Thumbs down. <laughs> thumbs down. Jacob is at his other job, so he won't be trying it with us today. That's okay. We will, though. So next will be me and Mothra. Yay. We're back. We're back. We're going to try ours now mm -hmm. and see what we think. Ready?
God. That is a zero out of ten for, for me. I can't do it. Um, I don't think it's horribly bad. I'm not like gagging bad. <laughs> well. I don't think it's too bad. Mm. Yeah, it's a hard no-go for me. Is it the cream or is it? It's it the cream like and the and the uh, the raspberries. Really? Because I don't know. I just don't think it tastes that bad. All right, we'll just the cream. The crepe itself, I think, is pretty good. Pretty good. It's the toppings for me. Yeah. yeah. I think if you put some, um, we actually found some monk fruit syrup. Mm -hmm. Let me show it to you. Okay. A monk fruit maple flavored syrup. And I bet you if you put some of this on it, it would be pretty good. Maybe. I mean, I don't really think it tastes like rubber but it tastes like rubber you know just a thought this is sugar free and it's monk fruit sugar so yeah let's just go ahead and make it and comment in the comment section um how you guys like it and if you like it yeah and don't forget to tell all your family and all your friends and your co-workers and <laughs> Oh no, no, your mama and your wife, yeah, <laughs> bye, see you next okay, time, see you guys next time, bye.